Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let's talk about how you can use this device to get this amount of humidification. My name is Justin, I'm the Mealworm Guy. I run Midwest Mealworms here in Ashland, Missouri. Let's talk about how I built this and see if we can get some questions answered in the comments, go through everything I've done in here and why I'm doing it, and uh, hopefully get some value for you guys, uh, potentially build one yourself. So let's start with just the physical components first. Uh, simple Rubbermaid container here. Uh, any size container will do. I chose this size container because I can fill it with a bunch of water and I don't have to consistently or constantly refill it. Um, the other thing that, that would be nice from a container perspective is this thing puts out, puts out so much moisture um, and volume from this fan that the moisture comes out around the sides here. So one of the things that I would change uh, next in a future iteration is to make this close easier or more tight or get one that clamps closed. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I'm going to do in a future version is get a way for this to, you put a float in here and connect it to a water source so that that float fills it. So then it's even less maintenance for me to have to fill this thing up. Uh, so simple Rubbermaid tote uh, size is really dependent on, you know, how often you want to refill it uh, and what size device you get that goes on the inside. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, a couple other things that are uh, vital to this setup. We've got a fan. Uh, waterproof fan here. Uh, the waterproof fans are not that much more expensive than a standard fan and this thing is just connected. Uh, it's loosely connected to this and what it's doing is it's blowing air down into it with this hole here where all that moisture comes out. The other thing we've got is this controller and so what this does is it plugs into your power outlet and it's got a couple options here and then you set what humidity you want your environment to be at uh, it's got a variance as well, so mine is plus or minus 3% right now. Um, and so I've got it set to 70% humidity. Uh, that's the, the humidity we need here in the room for the mealworms. Um, you can adjust that though, uh, very easy control, um, user intuitive, uh, really like this device. A um, couple plugs here so you can control multiple devices if you want to, uh, which is nice. And then what runs up here is just a simple sensor, so it can sense what that humidity is, so it knows when to turn on or off. Then, the last piece is the ultrasonic fogger. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of here, so we can look at what that is. This is of water in here. Let me try to make as little of a mess as I can. Uh, so this is an ultrasonic fogger uh, and everything that we're talking about here there are links down below uh, so that you can uh, get a reference on what options are out there. This one is, I think it was a 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep, 12 uh, unit device. They come smaller, they come bigger. Uh, really you just need to do a little bit of, of digging as to how much moisture you're gonna to need to output. And so we've got a thousand square feet here uh, that um, the, the insects are being raised in. And so I wanted something pretty beefy. Uh, so I went ahead with a 12, uh, 12 unit device. And what this does, these black pieces here are actually filled um, with foam, I believe, uh, so that it floats inside of the water. And so the water level is gonna go up and down, right? As you fill it, it's gonna go up. As it uses that water, it's gonna go down. Um, so this just floats on the surface, and what's nice about the device is that as soon as it gets too low, if there's not enough water in your container for it to operate, it'll shut itself off. Uh, so if I'm not paying attention to this, and I come in and I see the fan running and no output from that hole, there's a problem. It means we need to add some more water. That's it. Uh, it's a very simple setup. I can't take credit for this. I found this on um, a, a research uh, session that I did to try to figure out how to humidify this room to a higher humidity than what a normal, you know, household humidifier would do uh, for a room humidifier. And so I found this, uh, a lot of folks who are raising mushrooms, mushrooms also need high humidity, they're using this, this type of setup. 
Um, one of the other things that I saw very commonly done is instead of just being an open hole here, there was a, a pipe and then maybe an elbow to direct it where you want to go. Um, what I'm doing here is I, I have no pipe here. Um, it's an additional item to throw in there. Uh, it's another thing to potentially mess with. And what I do is I always have fans in here, except for now, and I'll explain why. I always have fans in here running to move the air around. And so I've got a fan that actually blows right towards this to take all of that um, moisture that's being put up right here and blow it out into the room. Uh, I don't have the fans on right now because the, the insect room is full of frass, full of uh, exoskeleton, full of wheat bran, uh, the substrate, dust. And so uh, all of that, if the fans were on, it would cause me to have some breathing uh, issues. And so always wear a full face mask whenever you're actively working in your farm or have been actively working. Uh, we've got an exhaust fan that I ran for uh, about an hour before I came in here and we haven't done any work in here yet today. Well, that's a Saturday, so. Uh, but that's it. So this device is fairly straightforward, very simple to maintain. Uh, I've had this item uh, or, or this built. Uh, we used it in the old facility. I wanna say I've had it for a year um, and haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it gets a little dusty and needs a little cleaning every now and then, but overall it functions really well. Uh, I find that the output from this uh, is very consistent. So I've got sensors in this room that tell me outside of this physical device, what the humidity in the room is. And this helps us keep the humidity where it needs to be. Um, and, and again, we're aiming for about 70%. Uh, that's a really good number for the mealworms, uh, keeps them happy and healthy um, and, and keeps things running smoothly here. Uh, everything I've mentioned here will be linked down in the description. Uh, they are affiliate links. You don't have to shop at Amazon, but that's where I got uh, these items. So thank you guys for your support if you do use those links. Um, and if you have any questions, please put those in the comments. Uh, I'll answer every single one. Uh, you can also reach out directly to me, Justin, at MidwestMealWorms.com with any questions you might have. Hopefully you found some good info here and uh, more to come.